Hey everyone, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name is Jose, but you can call me Juice, and I hope you guys are having a great motherfucking planty day. So today I'm just going to be giving you guys a quick little tour of the plants that I have at my house in Mexico. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and just seeing the type of plants I have over there. But before we get into that, if you didn't already know, I'd be uploading plant content here every Wednesday. So if you'd be looking for that, I got you. And you should definitely think about checking out my other videos. And if you already have, why not click the subscribe button? You're already here. And if you like plants, I'm sure you'll enjoy your time here. Also, don't forget to leave me a like or a comment because it really helped my channel out and I'd also really appreciate it. Plus, I just love chatting with you guys. But anyways, let's go to Mexico. So of course, we gotta take a plane to get there. And we're gonna go ahead and start off on the second floor balcony of my house. So first up, we got these cute little palms right here. I don't exactly know what kind, but I know they be cute and they be standing in front of the door. And then right over here, we have some type of Dracaena. Again, I don't know this specific one, but if I find out, I'll put it on the screen. But I know I always see this Dracaena at like big box stores and stuff. So it's kind of cool to see it like outside and living its best life um this plant is not living its best life um this is a peace lily and it looks like it's going through some things but you know she's still here she's still flowering so hopefully she makes it and then we have these plants i don't know what they're called but i just know that they have these like really super spiky stems and they get these leaves and pretty flowers and then over here, we have some plant that I don't even know what the heck it is. It has like these really floppy, glossy leaves. She do be having some new leaves coming in, which is nice to see. And then we have some more really big ferns. Um, they just be chilling up here, living their best life. and they have a bunch of spores, so they're probably spreading their babies all around. That's pretty much all the plants up here, so now we're gonna go down to the bottom area. First up, we have these cute little succulent-like type plants that be flowering, uh, but I just thought they were really cute because, I don't know, I've never really seen a succulent with a flower like that. And then right next to them was this gorgeous burrow's tail succulent, like, oh my god, just look at the way it hangs, like, it is just so pretty. I definitely need to get me one of these plants. Um, here's another one of those, like, succulent plants, but this one has a white flower on it, so that's cute. And then here's another burrow's tail, super, super pretty, I just love how they hang. This whole little plant stand was super cute. Here we have another flowering plant. I don't know what kind, but it has this cute white flowers on it. And then here's some more flowers. And this is a geranium, I believe. And right next to that is this epiphytic cactus, which last time I was here was definitely not this tall at all. So she's grown a ton and I'm super happy to see it. Um, I don't know what type of cactus it is, but I just like that she climbs. <laughs> And then I'm pretty sure these are like some type of lilies. Um, you'll see another one that's actually flowering later in this video. And then we have this cute little jade plant. I think this is like a mini jade or something. I don't know, just because the leaves are so tiny. Um, and then there's those flowers again in there. Then we have a cute little rose bush with some pink flowers. And then y'all can't tell me this isn't like the cutest pot ever. Like, it's a little frog and it has like little watermelon, little pineapple on its shirt. So cute. And then I don't know what plants growing out of it, but she cute too. <laughs> and then over here we have another rose bush with some red flowers on it. I don't know, kind of pinky red flowers. <laughs> and then there's this geranium that has bird poop on it, <laughs> but <laughs> she has white flowers and I didn't even realize there was a little snake plant hidden in there. And then here's another one of those jade plants. 
I think this is another jade plant, or at least another type of succulent. Um, I don't really know, but she be cute, she be cute. And then over here is one of those lilies or whatever the heck this type of plant is. Uh, but as you can see, she has these big, beautiful red flowers and they're so big. They're literally like the size of my hand, if not bigger, which I just love seeing huge flowers. It's like one of my most favorite things about plants. Um, and then here's another big palm. And then I thought this was so cute. They have like these plants growing in an old cooler. Here's another one of those succulents with the little flowers. But there was also like this little Tradescantia or something growing in it, which I thought was really cool. Like she just be hanging out. Here's another little fern. And then right next to it is another geranium with some pink flowers. Sorry, I'm like probably not gonna know 50% of these plants because they be outside ones. Um, and I don't really know outside plants like that. But this plant right here is really cool because she also gets some huge flowers, but they be yellow. And they're also like the size of my hand too. So love to see that. And then behind her was this cute little aloe just hanging out in the corner. Um, I just loved all the little spikes on it. I just thought it looked really cool. Is this like a fire aloe or whatever they're called? I don't know. Here's another rose bush. This one got white flowers on it. And then right next to that is this really cool tree. I don't know what type of tree it is, but she be having these cute little pink flowers on it. And she's like always blooming. And I just love her so much because I just love how she looks. And then right next to her was this funky little plant and it had this cute little pink flower on it. So we got lots of unique flowers around here. And then right next to that is another one of those trees, but this one got white flowers, white and yellow flowers. So I thought that was really cute. Here is a single pink rose on this rose bush that has like no leaves and you're probably wondering why. And it's because of this little thing. Um, if y'all don't know what you're looking at, you're looking at a little monarch butterfly chrysalis because y'all, they be going crazy around here. Like, you can literally see the leaf through that one. The leaf, the wing. <laughs> the wing through that cocoon. It's so pretty. Here's a little caterpillar minding its own business. This was actually, like, my first time seeing, like, monarchs in any form in person, which was really fun for me. Um, this one had a little aphid riding on its back. And then here we have these really cool looking orchids. Here's a little look at the flowers. They're like small, but they're cute. And they're in these little clusters. Um, here was a random cat, <laughs> just moseying along. But as you can see, this orchid be having lots of seed pods. So I'm sure she's gonna have a ton of babies around here. Here's another close up on those flowers. And then here we have some more palm trees by the front door. They be living their best life, getting lots of sun. There's also some more ferns right there. And then I know I don't know a lot of these outside plants, but for this one, I'm pretty sure this is a type of Schlafera because just look at those leaves. Literally looks like the umbrella plant that we all know and love. And then there was also this white flower up there, and I don't know if that was from like another plant growing on it or if it was from the Schlafera, but I thought I would show you guys anyways. And then we have this big shrub right here that has all these beautiful flowers in it, and the birds just love hanging out in there and living their best life. There's also this hibiscus, I think is what it is. Um, this really big, beautiful flower. And I just love how it looks so much. And there was two more flowers hanging out in the back right here. And it is just so pretty. Sorry if I sound really nasally. I'm like really congested right now. Cause I got a cold while I was in Mexico, which was not fun, but you know, 
at least it wasn't COVID or anything. Um, and then we have this really big bush tree thing. I don't even know what to call it, but it had these cute little red flowers on it. And I seen hummingbirds come and eating from them. And then hiding back here in the corner is this type of monstera. I want to say it's an escaletto just because of how many fenestrations it has at like that small of a size. But she's not doing the best because she has all these little runners and, you know, probably doesn't get as much light as she probably would like. But last time I was here, she used to be by the Shaflera. Then we have some more aloes and these cute random little flowers. And then back here in this big bush looking thing is actually a papaya tree. And if you look closely, there's even little baby papaya starting to grow on it. And there's even a flower. So if y'all never seen a papaya flower, that's what it looks like. <laughs> And then right next to it is what I'm pretty sure is a peach tree. Or at least I think that's what my dad said. I'm not entirely sure, but she cute as well. And that's pretty much it. I definitely didn't show like every single plant because a lot of them were just like outside plants. I don't really know, but I hope you guys enjoyed the tour. So that's gonna go ahead and end our video for today. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you did, please make sure to leave me a like and you can leave me a comment letting me know what your favorite part was. I had a really fun time in Mexico visiting with my family. I definitely wanna try to make this like a yearly thing because one, it's good to just visit with my family. And two, I'll be able to practice my Spanish some more because unfortunately I'm not fluent, but yeah, all I can do until then is just practice practice so wish me luck but if you didn't already know i'd be uploading plant content here every wednesday so if you'd be looking for that i got you and you should definitely think about checking out my other videos and if you already have why not click the subscribe button you're already here that's pretty much it so i hope this video wasn't too short for y'all but i hope you guys have a great rest of your wednesday and i hope to see you guys here next week i'm gonna go ahead and get this video edited so Bye.